saying it's not rocket science. Well, for some kids at Children's Hospital in Central California, today it was. Catherine Milan joins us with the cool science project they tackled. Catherine. Rich Steph, about a dozen kids at Children's Hospital learned about rockets and gravity this afternoon. Organizers say it's a great way to sneak math and science into fun games, and it's something they say these kids always need. Your paper, and you're going to cut it in half, and then you're going to wrap it around. At Children's Hospital, Central California, it was a flurry of activity. And I'm going to twist it for you. See how that makes a cone? Did you ever think a circle can make a cone like that? Uh -uh. The kids are learning about gravity and about rockets. It's something that flies in the air and fire comes from the bottom of the plane. Marcus Antel is finding out that what goes up must come down. The seven-year-old has been fighting leukemia for the last year and his days usually aren't so fun. My legs get swollen, my stomach starts hurting, my back get back pain. But today, things are different. This is a rocket, this is the moon, this is the planet. No, those are stars. Fresno-based Kids Invent paid Children's Hospital a visit. The goal is to stimulate learning. We've had many parents, um, you know, come by and say thank you so much for being out here. My, 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 my daughter or my son, you know, has been in the um, been in the hospital and out for six months, and they do not want to get out of their room until Kids Invent come down here. It's so effective, even bigger kids are joining in. 15-year-old Jeremy Jordan has spent the last year and a half going through chemotherapy. When I come down here to the playroom and classroom, everybody's always smiling and nice to me and everything. And finally, after all the cutting and taping and decorating, it's time for liftoff. So we're going to launch Danny. And with the pressure from the, um, from the pump, it's going to give enough pressure into his water bottle to shoot it up in the air. One, two, three. Well, we know how tough it must be for the real NASA scientists now, and yes, this is rocket science. Oh, wait, here it goes. After that, it's smooth flying. Jeremy says these kinds of experiences put it all into perspective. This is kind of Jeremy around to do, like, oh, I should really focus on school and stuff and learning. Even little Marcus says he wants to learn more, but he told us he doesn't really want to be an astronaut. Now the Kids Invent program started last summer. It has become so popular. Instructors now visit every other Thursday. And Rich and Steph, I got to tell you, those kids may be under the weather, but they really lit up when those rockets launched today. They did.